Rockies hosting the Giants. The Giants are minus 210 on the money line. The Rockies are plus 175 over under 11 runs. Giants laying a run and a half on the run line or minus 130, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two. While the Rockies getting a run and a half on the run line are plus 110, meaning if you bet them that way, they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. Head to head, the road team is six and four. The Giants are on a nine game winning streak against the Rockies. The Giants are nine and one against the Rockies in their last 10. The favorite is 8-2 and two on the money line, and the favorite winning these games by two runs or more, laying a run and a half, is 7-3. and three. There have been two one-run games in their last 10 meetings, none in their last three or four. The over is hit in their last three games, the over-under is 5-5, five and five, and the under-11 specifically is 7-3. and three. Now, as of right now, it's raining in Colorado. The wind is blowing out towards dead center field from second base at 9.2 miles per hour. Now, Webb pitched four times against the Rockies last year. Seven innings, three runs, three earned. They lost that game five to three. That was in Colorado, and he struck out six. Five and two-thirds, three runs, two of which were earned. They lost that game four to two. That was in San Francisco. He struck out three. Five and a third, no runs, no earned. They won six to one in Colorado. He struck out five. Five innings, one run, one earned. They won 5-2 in San Francisco, and he struck out 7. The Giants are 4-6 as a team in Webb's last 10 starts. He's averaging 6 and 2 thirds innings pitched and 6.6 strikeouts per game in those games. So depending upon what the casino sets his strikeout line at will depend upon whether or not you want to go over or under. The Rockies are 3-3 three and three in the games in which Seabolt has started. They've used him a lot, but a, a bunch of the games were in relief. He's averaging 4 and 2 thirds innings pitched in the games that he starts and about three and 3.1 strikeouts per game in those games. He's had 19 strikeouts in uh, 6 starts. So, simple math. Uh, the last game they played against each other, which was yesterday, the Giants won 10-4. The game before that, the Giants won 6-4. The game before that, the Giants won 6-3. And the game before that, the Giants won 5-2. In their last handful of games overall, the Giants are 2-2 two two in their last 4 and 5-5 five and five in their last 10. 5 runs, 4 runs, 11 runs, and 14 runs. 2 runs and a loss, 4 runs and a win, 3 runs and a loss, 10 runs in a win. For the Rockies... They've lost their last two games. They're 2-2 two and two in their last four and 4-6 four and six in their last 10. Nine runs, 10 runs, two runs, 14 runs. Seven runs and a win, six runs and a win, shut out and a loss, four runs in a loss. Now this is provided that this game actually doesn't even get rained out, so we'll see what happens the later we get on in the day. But I'm going to take the Giants with the money line, the Giants laying the runs, and I'm going to go under. I understand the way that the wind is blowing you know, nine miles an hour should make a difference, but the guys have to catch it to dead center field. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.